Hey, what's up, you guys? It's your boy, Carlos Music, and I'm back with another tutorial. That's right, another tutorial. Now, in this tutorial, we'll be studying Maze featuring Frankie Beverly, Before I Let You Go. Need I say more? Now, look, I'll do my best to interpret these chords and progressions, and if it can help anybody with this song, then I'm all for it. Let's get to it. All right, here we go. The classic group, Maze, featuring Frankie Beverly, uh, Before I Let You Go. Now, it's just really Maze to me. It's never uh, featuring Frankie Beverly. I mean, Frankie Beverly is Maze, and Maze is Frankie Beverly. So, you know, it's just Maze to me. But for all intents and purposes, Maze featuring Frankie Beverly. Uh, this band has had an illustrious career and it's coming to an end. So um, I believe they're on their final tour. So you might want to get out there and check it out, right? So this song, before I let you go, in F sharp uh, minor. So uh, let's get this introduction. The introduction is just, um, you cannot hear it and not know what's going on, right? It's Frankie Beverly and Maze, right? So look. Right? So, that first chord, right? It's our D major seven with an E in the bass, right? E in the bass, D in the right hand, F sharp, A, C sharp, right? Then that C sharp D right then we go to this F sharp minor 7 right F sharp in the bass E in the right hand A C sharp E right and so from there that verse, uh, you make me happy, this you can bend, stood right beside me, and I won't forget, I really love you, you should know. I wanna make sure I'm there. Right. Before I let go. Now we've had a good time. But it's not the same. We're hurting each other. And girl, it's a shame. that uh right then we're gonna come with this that bass line is uh uh so important because it moves the song the chords are pretty much sitting there right so we have this first chord b minor seven b in the bass a in the right hand d f sharp right and the bass is doing that b C sharp D, right? And then we have this. Right? So um what this is gonna be called is in uh 
F sharp seven sus four with C sharp in the bass, right? So C sharp in the bass, B in the right hand, C sharp, E, F sharp, right? And that bass will be C sharp, E, F sharp, right? That second chord is a snatch, right? Right? Ugh. Right, it's last time. Right, so I'll I do this. Right, and then I just hit on that F sharp minor seven. Right, F sharp in the bass, A in the right hand, C sharp E. Right, you know I thank God. For, right, that's going to be our D major seven with the nine. Right, D in the bass, C sharp in the right hand, E. F sharp A. Since it shines on the key. So I C sharp minor seven. C sharp in the uh, bass. B in the right hand. E. G sharp. You know that's now. That's going to be our B7 sus4. Nice chord, right? B in the bass. A in the right hand. E. F sharp. So halfway. Now, when we drop that E to the E flat, that makes it a B7, right? B dominant seven, B in the bass, A in the right hand, D sharp, F sharp, right? No, there's nothing, nothing I would not. Right, and then we're going back to you. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, 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 right? And that's the entire song, people. Look, I hope this helped you. And if it helped you, want you to like the video, share the video, comment on the video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the bell. Hey, look, it's Carlos Music, and I'm out.